What's up guys welcome into a new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we are going to be adding wind into the Quicksilver Mega Scans foliage. It's going to be a very quick and easy tutorial to follow so go ahead and let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go on ahead and import of course the Quicksilver Mega Scans foliage they want. In my case just go into window uh, Quixel bridge so the one that you want and import it I have the wild grass so if you want to follow up the tutorial go ahead and import that one the first thing we can do is go up here landscape and of course create a landscape now a tip quick tip is just to enable edit layers just for example if in the future you want to add multiple layers or add the ocean water system from uh, Unreal it's gonna be much easier so uh, just select the material also import it from quick so and just go ahead and create there we go in here so now let's go ahead and go into foliage mode very easy and here is the place that we need to drag our foliage so go into our uh, content browser select this four and just drag it in here as easy as that so also i'm uh, not selecting exactly static mesh i'm just setting the static mesh foliage but you can do exactly the same with the static mesh but anyway the foliage is just better optimized so now here select uh, shift everything and just go ahead and paint well i'm just gonna put a bit less because it's really lagging so let me just uh, just a bit there we go so if i go here with my um per third person uh you can see that it looks very nice but of course the uh foliage is not moving which doesn't look very good of course uh, we can make it look much better so to do this we're just gonna go ahead and go into wild grass and select this material okay in your case it might be another type of grass but it's the main material and you see here it's clear here it's very easy wind enable and enable it here and with that by default we are already gonna have wind of course we can change the things but if we go here um compiling shaders you can see that there's wind moving it's very easy that's it if you want to add more intensity just go here and put for example one and later we don't even have to press play but anyway you can see how the wind is interacting so yeah that's it if you like the video and found it very easy to follow please drop a like subscribe and comment what you want to see in the next unreal engine 5 tutorials uh also um really common thing is that you play the grass and unreal engine of course gets very laggy so if you want me to do an nanite grass tutorial please comment it and i'll i'll see you later Bye.